there are no perfect nations out there but it's still refreshing to see that there are still nations out there that honor God and his word uh, this is a extraordinary report from the European Times um, it's called Russia issues grave warning prepare to defend earth fallen angels have returned an extraordinary report prepared by the military scientific committee of the armed forces MFC in MSC on the just completed trials of the Almaz Anti high energy laser directed energy weapon system project by the 27th research Central Research Institute 27 CRI states that their immediate disbursement to the Federation allies India China and Brazil is needed to defend our planet against interdimensional entities who could soon attempt to recapture earth Wow important to note about this report are that the references to interdimensional entities contained in it date back to the great patriotic war World War two when the Soviet intelligence services confirmed the German Nazi regime's existing communication link with what can be described as falling angels slash demons but which our planet oldest written records refer to as the gods small g's wow so this that right there that's exposing the great coming alien deception where they're gonna act like uh, aliens are beings from another planet coming to either help us or attack us and this and that when it's all only just fallen angels and demons it's, it's a great deception and they have technology where they can pull this deception off uh, via project blue beam and all this other stuff and that's what the heliocentric model will uh, assist too will aid and assist this great deception the, the heliocentric model where uh, Big Bang happened and all this garbage, and then we're we're going. We're all the planets are our planets and our solar system are going around this giant central sun, which is nothing but sun worship mass. That's all it is. When the Bible describes our closed system as being ge geocentric, where the Earth is stationary and it doesn't move, and God rotates everything around us, where our where our uh, sky and all that rotates around us. Uh, I'm gonna continue on with this article. With this uh, article here, let's see. These fallen angels slash demons. This report explained were once vanquished from our Earth about five through six thousand years ago, and what was then referred to by the ancients as the Great Overturning, that nearly instantly froze millions of woolly mammoths of Siberia, destroyed the vast city-state known as Atlantis and is recorded in the stories, religions, and legends of all of our planets, peoples, as the Great Flood. Kind of hard to read this. Uh, most importantly, however, to have been destroyed in the Great Overturning, this report continues, was the main geographic geographical area inhabited on the earth by these fallen angels slash demons located from the Indian subcontinent through the Himalaya and mountain range to what is present-day Ukraine hmm it's interesting because it seems like the dark forces are trying to start a war with Russia using Ukraine and none of us want a nuclear war we want to enjoy our lives. We don't want to see bombs falling down on our cities because somebody's over there trying to prop up the dollar or whatever they're doing. But we don't want any part of nuclear war. You know, Russia's turned back to Christianity and it looks like we're running away from it. That's embarrassing. We need to run back. Our nation needs to run back to the cross as fast as it can and then be and be friends with Russia and help them uh, in their in their journey to to, you know, get godly and all that stuff we we're two christian nations so we we started out christian but we need a you know we need a, to join up with those guys and and have two christian nations against all terrorism in the world and just make the world a peaceful place instead of having new world order uh hijack the west and and try to throw 
throw the re throw the West up as a sacrifice against a, a, a nation that has returned back to Christ and Jesus and the laws of God. They learn a, they learn a lesson on godless Soviet uh, stuff that 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 stuff don't get you nowhere but failure and a collapse. So they've learned from the the, the godless uh, anti-god Soviet system and and they have run away from that back to the cross and it looks like. Uh, the the West is is being led away from the cross to God knows who who what. All right, we'll continue on with the article. The two major Sanskrit epics of ancient India, the Mahabharata and the Ramayana. This report explains fully details the interaction of these fallen angels with the Aryan race. Include the use of the Vimana airspace vehicle described as an apparatus an apparatus which can go by its own force from one place from one place to place or globe to globe verifying this verifying this incredible ancient claim of the power of the vimana to not only transverse our own planet but those of others too yeah that's all falling into that coming alien deception this report says this report says can be found in the symbol of these fallen angels slash demon called the called the swastika being discovered all over earth include prior to World War II when the soldiers of the United States 45th Infantry Division probably wore this symbol prior to the rise of Nazi Germany well I thought that symbol also came from like Indians or whatever but everybody's trying to hijack it uh, in fact this report notes the earliest known object with the swastika motifs is a bird from the tusk of a mammoth from the Paleolithic settlement of Mizin Ukraine dated to 10,000 BC and its ancient use also been discovered in the uh, Mississippian era sites in the Ohio and Mississippi River, River valleys the Hopi and Navajo Indians of North America among the Celts, ancient Germans, Finns, and too many other worldwide cultures to mention in just one article. To our human race reconnecting with these fallen angels slash demons, this, this report says appears to have occurred in the 16th century when a brilliant new star appeared on the sky in early November 1572. And which we now, and which we now know to have been uh, Tycho's super, supernova, occurring in the constellation constellation Cassi, Cassiopeia, and which was one of about eight supernova visible to the naked eye in historical records. More critical, more critical to note about the uh, Ty, the Tycho, Tycho, whatever supernova. MSC experts in this report state is that it also appeared to cause an interdimensional rift allowing humans to once again communicate with the fallen angels slash demons yeah these pretend alien guys I call the light bulb heads with the big eyes and they're and they're abducting humans so they can make hybrids so they can say yeah yeah there there is other races out there in the galaxy and we seated you here and we helped and we're coming back to help you evolve and all this nonsense just to get people not believing in the bible it's all a great deception from satan so let's let you know that right now and then uh, uh this one this one guy uh with the prophecy club made this uh dvd can't think of it right now but he said that uh all these people that was getting alien abducted by these aliens or whatever when they when they do the stuff to them to make them uh to uh make their memory come back when they're doing that they they will see with amongst the aliens like uh blonde uh people tall blonde people with blue blue eyes or whatever blonde hair dressed in nazi uniforms and said that and when they abduct them uh, they never take them into outer space. They always take them down into the earth somewhere. So that was interesting right there. I'm letting you know the origin of, of where these beings are coming from. It's not coming from another planet. It's all local. So letting you know that right now. Uh, let's get back to what I was reading here. I'm just going to read it again. More critical to note about the Ty Tycho Supernova. An MSC expert in this report is 
is that it also appeared to cause an interdimensional rift allowing humans to once again communicate with the fallen angels slash demons slash light bulb heads slash losers who had previously been expelled from our planet and most important of whom was the personal astrologer sorcerer to England's Queen Elizabeth John D. I want to interject a little something about these uh, aliens, these fallen angels, these demons. Um, people have broken up uh, alien abduction attempts by invoking the name of Jesus. So that should let you know that they're, they're, they're demonic in origin right there. It's all a deception. It's a great deception. So you can rebuke them in Jesus' name. All right. Uh, from the historical records from the 16th century about D and his uh, and his assistants contact with these fallen angels slash demons we can further read uh, D would perform ritual invocations of the angels and yeah fallen angels and Kelly would stare into a a, scry a scrying mirror or crystal ball wherein a series of angels appeared transmitting prophecies instructions and furious uh, pronouncements on the spiritual nature of mankind the angels were not charitable raging at raging at the fallen state of humanity who have only become pro progressively worse since being sent east of Eden they consistently liken humans to harlots not in the sexual sense, but in the sense that they weakly allow their attentions to be captivated by literally anything except God. Hmm. I mean, maybe those were uh, some righteous angels right there. I doubt the fallen angels would say something like that. But anyway, the word of God says you're supposed to test the spirits. Any spirit that doesn't confess Jesus Christ came in the flesh and dwelt with us is a spirit of Antichrist. Over the years... Over years of actions, the angels described the ordering of the cosmos, a series of instructions for ritual invocations, predictions of apocalypse, and events to come in Europe politics. Finally, the angelic Enochian language, which they explained was the Urian, uh, your language of humanity spoken before the fall of Adam. For thee, this was not magic, but religion. He supplicated himself to the angels totally Kelly though uh, Kelly though was was terrified of the spirits considered them demons and constantly begging D to cease sessions D insisted on pushing ahead overworking Kelly to exhaustion and keeping him virtually prison prisoner at Mortlake I want to say something too that I learned about fallen the fallen angels and uh, the righteous angels the righteous angels of God they only move. They only move according to the word of God, and they're not. They're, and, and most of the time, they're not trying to get your attention unless God specifically tells them to. The fallen angels, on the other hand, they're always trying to get man's attention, or always trying to make cut deals with man. Oh yeah, uh, we can we kidnap some people and we'll give you technology? Or can we do this and that and we'll give you technology? That's the deals that they're always trying to cut with man. So that let you know what fallen angels are right now, and fallen angels also always always attracted to human women that's how the Nephilim got formed when they came down in Genesis uh, 6 uh, whatever it's in Genesis and they came down and they made it with the human women and that formed the giants the Nephilim and then when, this, when the Nephilims uh, died or, or were killing each other or got killed their spirits weren't meant to be created in the first place and so their spirits was left to roam the, the, the world as demons that's what demons are spirits of the departed Nephilim and these spirits can imitate your loved ones that passed on come back and impersonate your loved ones that's why the word of God says you're not supposed to be talking to the dead you think you're talking to grandma and you're talking to a demon that's imp that's uh, impersonating your grandma All right? the angels okay back to the article the angels for their part detested Kelly clocking him immediately that he had previously engaged in demonic Grim Ori magic and quickly became exasperated with both D and D and Kelly. Though D may have been the smartest member of the species, he he was still perceived as an inconsequential inco net. Really, yeah, that's that's uh, sound like fallen angel attitude right there, mentality by the angelic hyper intelligences. Yeah, 
these these aren't I don't think those are righteous angels particularly when D and Kelly began begging them for money Kelly even asked if the angels should loan him money but for all of D and Kelly's embarrassing lack of evolution yeah those are definitely fallen angels talking about evolution they would have to do because the angels had a plan and D and Kelly were on the hook yeah these, these, these guys ain't righteous talking about those fallen angels put simply the angels wanted nothing less than a new world order okay there we go so I only have to keep talking about it. those are fallen angels gave this stuff away right there run by divine principles and propose what must be one of the most dangerous ideas in western history a world religion there you go and these these entities is what has hijacked the west and Russia's trying to break away and, and do right by God and these guys want to uh, influence the puppets to to start a nuclear war that that we all will probably have to suffer for unless God intervenes well God gonna protect his people anyway but we still we don't want a nuclear war so they don't they don't speak on the behalf of the people so it's let, letting you know that Russia we we we're not for war so we're, we're all about Christ a world religion based on love and unity a, a supra Christianity or terminal monotheism now I'm back to reading the article which would not only reunite Catholicism and Protestantism but even Judaism and Islam into a fused whole all made possible of course by the technology that angels had provided for direct individual contact with the spirit agents of God instead of relying on terrestrial authority or scripture there you go that's what they want to do they want to form a one world religion a one world government on an antichrist so these fallen angels are going to come back pretending to be aliens pretending to be sent from God all kind of stuff just trying to get our attention or trying to get us to trust in them but Jesus Christ is coming back and he's coming back as God with power and the first thing he does when he comes back he burns up his enemies he's not coming back playing patty cakes he's coming back to fight his enemies so that's how the real Jesus Christ returns he he doesn't return as a flesh man he returns back as a conquering king and he's gonna wipe the floor with the new world order and all these deceivers and all things will be brought to light so now is the time people Playing around, think it's a game out there. You better get on Christ's side while while you still while it's still time. Because when he comes back, ain't nobody getting saved. It's warfare. When Christ comes back, he's gonna be conducting warfare. So everything is spiritual warfare. Spiritual. It's all it's all from Christ. It's all from his power and might and his fire. And no and no nation, no one will be able to stand up against the awesome power of, and, 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 and indignation of Christ. So now is the time to bow your knee. Well, you're going to bow your knee now and be on God's good side or bow it later. But you're going to bow them knees. So time to humble yourself and line yourself up with the Bible, the King James Bible, the scriptures. Follow the scriptures, not perversions and traditions of man. The only one that's supposed to be worshipped is God the Father and, through, and it's through Jesus Christ. So you got the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. No one else gets worshipped. And that's by that's Bible. Okay, back to the article. Combined with the foundation D had already laid for a a temporal new world order under Elizabeth, this new religion would unite souls of the entire globe, fuse all humanity into one state and one church, all directed by angels themselves. The New Jerusalem. So fervent were the angels that they commanded D and Kelly to present themselves to the court of Rudolph, the Holy Roman Emperor. Tell him he was possessed by demons and command him to heed the angelic message. This was a death sentence, but D and Kelly shockingly made good on it. Rudolph ignored them, but the, the papal nuncio did not and plotted their destruction. The church, it seems, took D and Kelly's claim seriously, perhaps a threat to their very existence humans talking to God without scriptural or institutional uh, mediation was not on the menu see the Bible gave us that God gave us the Bible so that we can know what's up we can know what's coming other than that any anybody anything could come along and tell you anything you know 
people say the Bible is translated or whatever. Yeah, it's translated, but it's a good translation when you use the King James Bible and you use a strong concordance and all that, and then it, then it gives you the real meanings of the words. And it's the closest, uh, Geneva Bible is a good Bible. Those ones closest match the settled word that's up there in heaven. When the Christian on earth, this is what Satan knew, and this is why Satan had to come out with all these fake Bibles by uh, Rupert Murdoch, the, the, the porn publisher, uh, made the NIV, and a lot of these fake Bibles have been been uh, produced by Satanists. So y'all didn't even know that. But the King James Bible is is the, the closer there is to what the settled word is up there in heaven. And uh, when the Christian on earth, words match the settled word in heaven, there's a power flow that comes down on it called the anointing. And this destroys Satan's kingdom. So he had to pervert the word of God in, in, in some cases. Even the new King James, you don't even want to use that because it's been things switched around in there. In the in NIV, you have a, a, a verse in there saying that Jesus Christ is a son of the gods. Small G's. See, that right there, that's paganism. That's that's the fallen angels, the little the little G's, the little gods. God is big G, big God. The true God. Alright, back to the article. To the evidence of the success of England under the direction guidance of, of these fallen angels slash demons, this report says, cannot be denied as it began the British Empire, which the sun never set. That is until the end of the 20th century when upon the death of Queen Victoria in 1901, the German House of Hanover, of which Queen Victoria headed, disseminated their occult knowledge throughout all of the royal houses of Europe. What began then, this report grimly notes, was centuries of war del deliberately initiated and controlled by these fallen angels, intent upon total destruction as to establish their one world religion, the most destructive uh, being World War II. Causing World War II to be so destructive, this report continues, was the German Nazis' successful establishment of an interdimensional transport communication device called Die Glocke the bell allowing for the first time since 1561 a Viamana air spacecraft to appear on earth in 1937 Wow! the previous attempt of these fallen angels to reintroduce their Viamana air spacecraft on earth since the great overturning this report notes occurred on 14 of April 1561 when John D traveled to Nuremberg Germany using the occult mechanisms he had been taught by these entities caused to erupt a furious sky battle witnessed by all of the residents of the city in which the fallen angels demons were defeated yes praise Jesus by 1937 though this report says an intact Viamana Vimana air spacecraft was not only in the hands of the Nazis they were able to start duplicating it resulting in what are now referred to as the Foo Fighters, a term used by Allied aircraft pilots to describe various UFOs or mysterious aerial phenomena seen in the skies over both both the European and specific theaters of operations. Even after World War II, MSC experts in this report say the Nazi Germans Germans remaining Foo Fighters along with the Die Glock device were secreted to Antarctica where they remain today and attested and attested to by numerous high ranking present and former Russian military officials. And they had see video there. To how great of a danger our planet is in due to these fallen angels slash demons reappearing with their Vimana uh, air spacecraft, this report warns is evidenced by the mysterious uh, December the night 2000 event called Norway Spiral see video where a fantastical otherworldly spiral appeared in the night sky over both Norway and Sweden and which the ancients of people of our planet had all recorded was a sign that always preceded the arrival of the gods small G's Equally as critical to note about the 2009 Norway spiral, MSC experts state is that within days of it occurring, dozens if not more mysterious crafts began erupting from deep beneath Siberia, leaving massive craters and hurtling into space with 
one of them being tracked this week where it has taken up an orbit around our sun yeah I don't believe that our sun is small and it's within the firmament under the dome the book of Enoch read the book of Enoch the course of the luminaries it tells you how our sun and moon works in this closed system as President Putin this past August 2014 classified as a potential national threat any new any news information relating to these mysterious crafts erupting from beneath Siberia this report does note however it further states that what is now called the Chile Chile Abenix meteor event if I, I, I probably butchered that meteor event of uh, February 15, 2013 that exploded with 20 through 30 times more energy than was released from the atomic bomb detonated at Hiroshima. I found out about here is something about Hiroshima and Nagasaki from uh, uh, the Prophecy Club, uh, Passion Receipt. Uh, you go to their website and you can listen to the uh, audio uh, files from Passion Receipt. He said that God, God let them know or, or God made it known that Hiroshima and Nagasaki were Christian cities. These cities were, were cities filled with Christians. And so uh, they needlessly dropped the nuclear bombs on those two cities. And, and uh, God is going to repay for that. God is going to punish for uh, bombing his Christians. So that is something else right there. Uh, see video here. Back to the article was based on uh, orbital trajectory and actually an apparent attack against the Siberian region region where these mysterious crafts are being launched from and was exactly like the 30 June 1908 meteor attack upon the same region that is now called Tunguska event yeah I remember my roommate had a, a drink called Tunguska blast and it's supposed to have been uh, the minerals gathered or, or uh, from that area into a drink like uh, herbs or whatever, it was good stuff. All right, back to the article. Also, and perhaps most disturbingly, this report concludes U.S.-EU attempts to demonize President Putin and embroil Russia in war. Yep, that's true. In fact, an elaborate masquerade designed so that these Western powers can overrun Siberia to destroy this mantle what by all appearances seems to be an ancient defense system designed to protect our planet from these fallen angels slash demons who are now in league with if not outright controlling nearly all the western nations on earth and finally and finally though not exactly referred to in this MSC report western scientists appear to be preparing their citizens for what is to come by publishing many scientific papers this past year uh, proving that parallel worlds exist and interact with our world. A position, mind you, first stated by the renowned French scientist and UFO researcher uh, Jax Vallée, who describes a gold warned that what are completely called aliens from other worlds may in fact be fallen angels and demons and they're local. And that's what all this globe earth nonsense is and why they protect this scam with, their, with everything they got with NASA and all their hoaxes. It's all for the fallen angels so they can say they came from another uh, whatever solar system, another planetary system and they came here to save us from ourselves and all kind of scenarios. That's why I just go by the Bible. The Bible is geocentric. The book of Enoch is, is geocentric supporting um, things. You know, there's there's no proof of uh, Earth spinning around and everything like that. It is stationary. It's, it's stationary. I don't know if it's flat or whatever. I, I believe it's, it's, it's uneven, but we do know how gravity actually works. Gravity has one direction. It's pulling down. Like you get a can and you put water in it we know gravity works that way but it's saying that gravity that the misinformation is saying that gravity holds on to a spear in all directions keeping everything and keeping the atmosphere held on to this spear that's flying through space for no reason and just spinning around for no reason and when you look at the the coordinates and the numbers that they use it's uh six 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 and all kind of stuff like that and six hundred and sixty six and thousand miles an hour or what where whatever it is but it's all just 
misinformation garbage supporting the fallen angels and their return that's what the whole global heliocentric model is all about you know and even got Christians got Christians uh, falling for it because they read one thing in the Bible that said the Lord sits on the circle of the earth if you go look at the, the Hebrew and everything a circle and a spear are very two different things you know you could you could be it could be a a circle and it could be uh not a spear you know and and the bible had both both words available um from the hebrew where there's a verse in the bible was talking about where uh where god's talking about a ball he's actually he's talking about a ball and then another verse where he just said a circle so if he wanted to say a ball he would have said a ball but the christians say oh well it's a ball because he said circle no and then that that where all the confusion is coming from so like I told people uh, that can hear from God I said once you ask God what well, if if earth is a, a ball spinning around flying through space or is that a deception every time I ask them to do that they never do it so you know you could choose to be deceived but I, I, I choose to believe the Word of God that it, as it is written and uh, I like what the Russians are doing against the fallen angels and everything um, I don't know if technology can work against these these beings, but hey, at least at least you're trying. But uh, what I would do is uh, uh, Putin and leadership, you know, do some uh, fasting, fasting and prayer, and, and you know, national repentance. That's what America needs to do: national repentance. And we also know invoking the name of Christ can work against these enemies, like uh, saying blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Uh, also, you could you could you could tell these. Uh, these fallen angels, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. You battling them. Also, you could be quoting Psalm 91. You have your whole forces quoting Psalm 91. They can't handle stuff like that either. Um, it's been people, uh, Christians, that have been put in front of firing squads, and they're saying Psalm 91, and the bullets not even touch them. Uh, it's been it's, it's been it's been soldiers in the Vietnam War. Uh, I was I was told about these soldiers that they were saying Psalm 91 every day, you know, before they they went into battle. And these soldiers, all of them that was doing that, made it home, uh, made it through the war, and made it home without a scratch on them, not a scratch. So those are things that would definitely work against fallen angels and demons and, and everything on Satan's side. So that's a start right there, and just uh. Fast and uh, have your have your uh, have your people and and yourself fast and pray, and um, just ask God to uh, give you wisdom and and give you ideas from heaven on what to do to defeat these entities. All right, God bless, God bless you and your people, and and God bless all the Christians and uh, and all good people on the planet in Jesus' name. Amen.